Hi, I'm Jim McGregor from Curious Research, and we're here in Barcelona at Mobile World Congress. Um, and we're recording some videos of some of the most interesting demos and new technologies that we're seeing. So I hope you enjoy them. I am here at the MediaTek booth with Debbie Lin at MWC 2023. And we're seeing what, probably one of the most impressive demos and what I was looking forward to here at MWC. We're going to see a live video call over a satellite connection, basically an NTN connection. This is in 3GPP release 17. And this is the first broadband application we've seen for uh, NR and TN specification. So, Debbie Lee, take it away. Thank you. So, uh, this is powered by MediaTek, and then this is the NTN technology, follow the 3GPP release 17 specification, and then now we will demonstrate a 5G satellite streaming. This is the brief introduction that we were the world first voice and the video streaming demo in the MWC. And then this satellite phone is equip, equipped with the uh, both NR, NTN, and then legacy TN technologies. And we work it in the FR1 SN with 5 megahertz network. In a downlink, Shanghai have one transmission, UE have two receiving ports. In the uplink, we use one transmission and Shanghai uh, has one receiving. So all the link budget will be followed by SGPT set one parameters. Now we make a phone call through the NTN capable device to a normal TN phone, normal terrestrial uh, network phone. So here is the NTN device. The first the signal will first pass through the video channel indicator that we simulate the satellite orbit uh, at a six hundred six hundred kilometers high, and then the signal will pass, transmit through the to the uh, Juno B, and then Juno B connect to the five G port, and then connect five uh, G port connect to the uh, internet. So that the signal can. Yep. So the signal can uh, all the way through the uh, Leo satellite channel, uh, channel emulator to the internet so that it can reach to the target device. Now this is impressive because I was under the understanding that it was going to support Geo, but this is actually over a Leo? Leo, yep. So, so it supports both Geo and Leo, correct? Yes, the, uh, for the Geo and Leo, that is the technology is quite different. Mm -hmm. The Leo satellite, the movement is very, very fast. So for 600 kilometer high satellite, the movement is uh, 7.56 km per second. And, oh, okay, that's impressive. <laughs> and what data rate are we actually getting the signal at, do you know? Uh, for the five megahertz bandwidth, now yeah. we demonstrate, we can reach to seven megahertz BPS. Impressive. So Yes. So for the downlink streaming, the quality is very good. Very good. Yes. Debbie Lin, thank you very much. Thank you. Please remember that Curious Research is a market research and advisory firm. If you want any information about us, please contact us directly at CuriousResearch.com or at any of our email addresses. That's Jim, Kevin, Steve, or Francis at CuriousResearch.com.